Hello everyone, Jet here, and welcome back to my Mercy on Me Earth campaign, where we are about to finish off the Danish invasion. Hopefully this turn, and then we're going to work out if we're finishing off. Now, our Air's Air is just about to fight a fairly vicious battle here against some uh, Danes. Now, I think, I'm hoping we have a river crossing here, because they are on the other side of the river. If we do, yes. So this is brilliant, guys. Um, this means they are going to have to come across the river to us, across the ford. They only have one way across. As such, we are going to, uh, we're going to obliterate them, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, it is actually a bridge. Even though there's no bridge, it does put a bridge rather than having a ford. Okay, that's fine. You guys can all set up there. We're just going to, um, you've seen us do this before, guys. You know what's about to happen. You guys can sit back. And insta-pause. And we are just going to put all of our troops on this bridge. Come on, let me actually put them on, please. Okay. I'm not putting them all in one lump this time, so we can strategically move them back. And because it will look cool. You four can set up down here just in case. Now, key thing here is to get into position quickly. We might have to, uh, shield wall early, which I prefer not to do, but if we can get into position. Shield wall! Ah, they don't actually look like they seem to do much to do with it on the bridge then. Never mind, that said, we, we, oh yeah, there we go, we are getting some. They hit these guys a little bit too early, so we're not getting the formation set up. Um, and these guys are a bit looser, but these guys back here are very set up. That said, we've already lost it there. Due to their cavalry bugging through like that. You know what, you're actually going to move back up here. Run, warriors. Quick march. On the double. Ah. Run, warriors. On the double. There we go, we're all nicely formed up on most of our units there. You guys can turn skirmish off and move into the side. It's only my front ranks which aren't really set up. No, even my front ranks are shield walled now. So, they have to break through all of my units, even my front line, which is very, very solid. I'll tell you what, I'm going to move this unit back. There we go, so they're now into the next line, but we can strategically move back a line at a time there. So you can see our front rank is a bit broken up there, but we're still doing very nicely. They can reshield wall there. There we go.
Uh, shooting in here comes their general. Interesting, we don't seem to do as well set up like this. But then again, it's only one unit facing, whereas the way I usually do it, it would be all the units fighting at once. So, hmm. The only real benefit we actually get from this is the um, missile block chance, which is a little annoying. To me, it should do a bit more than that. I mean, we are still easily winning here. Alright, let's cycle my front rank back. Put some fresh troops on the front line. Reform that while these guys recover. Fresh and eager uh, there, whereas these guys are all getting tireder and tireder trying to push through here. Uh, my archers are actually going to move over here and start engaging theirs. See, so I'm going to keep my cav right back here. Start hitting the javelins. We're clearing them out nicely. Once these guys get engaged, they're going to do much better. This unit can hold for the time being. There you go, now this unit is beginning to get engaged. You can see they just lost their formation there. Oh wow, no, what are my archers doing? No, 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 bad archers. These guys can pull back. But no, so for next time we're doing a bridge, we're just going to pile everybody on top of each other again, because that definitely works better. It doesn't look as cool, but it definitely works better. All of their units are now exhausted from fighting, whereas this way I'm actually keeping my guys fresh. And as we compact back, we are getting more and more compact, actually. So it is working very well for us. Move my cab forward. This is where they need multiple routes across the rivers like we used to have, because these battles are a little one-sided, even though it says they shouldn't be.
I'm just moving everything up now, to be fair. Into one big, solid bastion. Because it will actually work better. Reform shield wall. Doesn't look as pretty, but it's a very solid line there we have now. And they are breaking. I mean, their entire army is now funneled onto the bridge. Um, all of their range is done. You guys are actually done. You can just, just, just form a little line at the back. Just in case. Soon we'll be at the point when we want to actually push back, and judging that is one of the tricky bits. But this is an easy battle now. They are trying to. I mean, they are. They should never have attacked me here. This was a stupid place because with a shield wall on this bridge, uh, you could hold this bridge against a vastly superior force. Um, they're going to start breaking soon. General is the one I want to kill. Second he's down. No, they are. To be fair, they are bending our edges around here. Here, but still, I mean, to completely break through, they have to kill almost everything. We're taking much more damage than we used to here, but we've, we've won this without, without a doubt. Wow. They are slowly cutting into me, actually, impressively. Which just goes to show the quality of their troops here, guys. But they are managing to fight into my units. And some of my guys are actually getting very... I'm actually pulling some of these guys out. Because they are getting too damaged. I can re-shield wall up there. Why are we being shot at by ranged? They are breaking now. Beginning to. Vicious. Yeah, my guy's trying to re-shield wall there against some of them. Uh, what do we have to remind? We are holding our line. Oh, poor little guy out there on his own. He's not going to last long. Some of my guys are actually venturing forwards, which is a bad idea. Oh, wow. Did he really, his axe just fly around. Wow. So I say that, my guys are making a little advance here quite well. Here come some more. Some Joms Vikings. With their interesting haircuts. That's definitely more Viking dead on the floor than mine, though. Almost time. Actually, my general forward, which is a little risky. But he does need to gain some glory. Where is my actual general himself? Wow, they are an odd angle. I'm actually going to pull him back in. He's been on the front for long enough there. He's got himself a bit of glory. 
Let's let them fill that gap, fall back, let them fall onto my unit. time. See, their general is fighting valiantly as well. Let's move him forward so he's not just quite on the front line, but he is up there. Shield wall him in the middle. His half guard are fighting very well there. I mean, this is a bitter fight on the front, but, well, let's be honest, it's, it's, it's not going to go well for them. There we go. Now's the time. Charge. That's it. And we're cracking them there. The general is running. We're surrounding that last little unit who's fighting. He's getting surrounded. At which point we're going to chase down their general. Chase him down and kill him. If he's not already dead. He could already have died on the bridge. I might have missed it. Yeah, I think I did. My calf should have some fun here. So a bud bloody battle on the bridge. We did lose a lot of units, but that said, we fought well. We're going to catch him before he gets there. Doesn't really matter at this point. We've won. We've battered them. We've taken out all their important units. So 335 for 1,384. And Magnus is dead. The Sons of Wayland are dead. And Reedwald, once again victorious there. Uh, showing himself to be a good heir for our family. Half tempted to get him to take over from Kufred, because Kufred's old. Oh, wow, and I think this could be an interesting one. We may actually have another lovely uh, bridge here. It's a town, but uh, so we don't actually get... See, that's a little annoying. We don't get the bridge. We're still going to win this, let's be honest. Um... There is no real worry here for uh, Elfrith. Elfrith. Eth Athelfrith. I'm not great at pronouncing Saxon names, guys. We know the drill already. Oh yeah, they're attacking me. I don't have to move for a change. into the side of those Viking scouts. And 
break. Straight back into them. See, what I should do is try and smash through my centre, maybe, but they're not going to. See, they flee before our might. Straight into the next unit. Shredding them here in the woods. What are they doing? Just milling there. Finally coming. Let's turn sideways here. Come on, quickly into position, guys. That'll do nicely. You guys can both push out. Right into their flank. Slam into those long axes if they're staying in that formation. So they actually did manage to catch us there. Not perfectly, just rip into them. Don't want to stay too long. Counter charge them, move forwards there, get into the flanks. You guys can move up, you guys can pull back. You guys can charge out against them. No, nope, you can pull back them. You guys can move in here. One unit on each of these. You can hammer into them. You guys can get on the flank. There you go. That's what they're meant to do. Fold me around like that to break up my formation. You can slam into them and you can slam into them. You guys can try and pressure through, actually. No, you can just get involved in the fight. They're broken. You guys can move up here. They're already breaking. Perfect. You guys can just slam over here. Slam over here. And we walk over here to get into the back of them again. Push forwards. Push forwards. That's going nicely. Straight into the back of these guys. They try and reposition themselves. This is not just turning into our favour, guys. This is this is a, this is one. We have ripped their formations to pieces here. Okay, they're pushing to turn face, so we're breaking our line there and slamming into the back of them. They're completely surrounded, guys, and losing massively. 
These units here are the ones which have held the longest. Which is, to be fair, they've got their general there, so they would. And their king. surrounded. I mean, there's a fin of it. They could break out if they wanted to, but... Oh, and their allies are breaking. The unit who was with them there is broken. And the general is in here with his bodyguard. Somewhere. it and the general is gone and the general is dead nice solid victory again there guys and I think that's the last of the Danish armies properly smashed he was the last Danish lord who was leading an army anyway um, so now we should be able to push them back into the sea take the remains of their territory and reclaim Britain for the Sax, well, England for the Saxons. Hmm. Chase that unit down. Move it to oh. the men have traded. There we go. My, so my air, my two airs. There we go. Get marching, men. Let's just check. Where does all of his influence come from? So characters and officers. See, I'm a bit worried. I'm very tempted just to switch him and make him my heir. We are about to skip a generation. It's probably going to annoy him, but you know. do so he is illegitimate to be fair I mean, he's adopted but his son is becoming our heir he is not powerful enough um, no whereas he is naturally a really solid leader so he is a better leader for us we will do our utmost. The men have trained for this hmm some point soon my king is going to die I really should start spending some of these ridiculously large amount of cash I've got because um, <laughs> I do have a fairly ridiculously large amount of cash um, in fact I'm gonna lower our tax rate a bit because we don't need this income at the moment I, I can't, because I actually would lose a big chunk of it. Let's just spend it all quickly. Hmm. 
Oh wow, you are set up completely. Not necessarily, actually. There you go, that's our income spent. them for now then. They're lucky. Quite so. the glory we march. No. Ooh, they're trying to build up another army. It's not going to last long. Especially the Scots are about to take it. Wow, he's still not made it up here, guys. Literally, he might get here for the end of the war. Have him march into uh, Bebenberg for the final victory, guys. Right, I know it's 30 minutes, but I'm going to finish this off now, guys. Bonus for the people for the My moment. Reputation grows. Genealogies. Sorry, I didn't do that. I ignored them. And then we'll be an uneasy piece on the Scottish border. But nobody's even vaguely powerful enough to threaten me at this point. I say that, the Scots are big and powerful. They could threaten me. It wouldn't be a real threat, but... Rumours mean nothing. Let's take the hit. Buff up all my troops. You guys can keep moving. Well, that was daft of him. Get marching, men. Here we go. All forces in good up that way. You Battle can head up way. this way. We will stay the course. Forward as one. Okay. What are they doing? If they declare war on me and land in the side of me, uh, end his life. Right, where is our best place, which isn't currently having someone in charge of it? Uh, Staffordshire. There we go. The men have trained for this. By the numbers. Glory awaits us. All forces in good order. That's their last major settlement. My warriors are steadfast and true. Okay, I'm a little worried about this guy here, but as I said, once we finish the Danes, guys, we're probably going to be ending it there. So that will be our total victory. Um, at this point, those Scots, even if they were to invade there, I could turn around and deal with them fairly quickly. Our foes' days are numbered. Let us advance. Forward as one. That's their last, uh, last major settlement gone, guys. So they're nearly done. Could liberate them. No. <laughs> Why would I want to liberate Norfliode? Hmm. 
I don't trust that army, but at the same time, I'm not going to do anything about it. Mid vassalizes a minor Irish kingdom. Mid seems to. It's mid back at war with Difflin there. I don't know, but I really care. Get marching, men. Attack the foe. We cannot. We are ready. It will be. So be it. There we go. Almost there, guys. I think they were just just passing through our territory. Not that I have military access agreements with them. I don't think so. A little naughty of them, but. We will do our own. Oh, I was trying to run away. And here it goes. When history is written, your name and the glorious tales of your conquests will grace its pages. It will speak of how you forced out your enemies and bent them to your will. Of your kingdom's prosperity and how your rule was righteous and just. Much will be written in recognition of your achievements, your domination of the age. Now, one king rules the thrones of Britannia. All hail the king! There we go, guys. A nice, solid victory for us there. Uh, we are now control most of Britain. Well, most of Eng England and Wales. We don't... You know, obviously, we've got lots of allies around still, but um, let's just have a look at what's going on in the world. Um, there you go. We have ultimate victory, so everything is done. We actually got all the victories as well. Um... They're not hugely good. It's improving, though. Um, basically, because they probably don't want to be at war with me. Um, what dark business brings you to my door? Oh, well, They're too far away for it to work. Hmm... I hope you do not plan to anyway, we are leaving this one here, guys. And that is the end of this campaign. So we will be picking up something else next week. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I do hope you've enjoyed this. Please feel free to pop any comments in the comment section. Or request for a campaign, though I'm going to be doing the Vampire Counts in Total War Warhammer 2. Uh, so, so requests will get put to the future part. Um, if... You know, there's also a link to my Discord as well as my Twitter and my Patreon in the comments and the description. Thank you very much for your time, guys. And I do hope you have enjoyed this campaign.